Welcome to the California and Arizona Recreational Area, a vast landscape stretching over 300 miles of the Lower Colorado River. The lands along the lower reaches of the Colorado are rich in year-round opportunities to hike, camp, hunt, fish, rock hound, and even ride off-highway vehicles in designated areas, all managed by the Bureau of Land Management. As you explore and enjoy the natural wonders that are bound here, you also need to appreciate that you are on a formally used defense site, learning a little history of the area's military activity and following the three R's of explosive safety will help you enjoy a safe visit. During World War II, the United States War Department saw a need to prepare for fighting in the deserts of North Africa. The landscape and climate in southwestern Arizona and southeastern California were similar to North Africa, leading the War Department to establish the Desert Training Center, or DTC, on April 30, 1942. At that time, General George S. Patton, Jr. was appointed Commanding General in charge of the training center. In October 1943, the DTC's name was changed to the California-Arizona Maneuver Area, or CAMA. Between 1942 and 1944, CAMA encompassed about 12 million acres of land in the southwestern United States. Approximately 1 million troops trained at the 10 camps developed at CAMA, which consisted of facilities for housing, health, sanitation, and the safeguarding of government property. CAMA's purpose was threefold, to train infantry and mechanized units to live and fight in the desert develop and test equipment, and create a tactical doctrine for desert warfare. Special emphasis was placed on training operations in remote locations where the water supply was restricted and the infantry was under constant threat of attack. In January 1944, the War Department announced that internal operations and training exercises at CAMA would come to an end on May 1, 1944. Before returning the land to civilian use, the Department of Defense ordered two major operations to clear CAMA of unexploded ordnance remaining on the land. The first clearing occurred in 1944 when all known CAMA impact areas were cleared. The second clearing operation was conducted between 1951 and 1954 by two detachments of the 9800th Technical Service Unit Engineer Range Clearance Team. In 1991, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers began conducting site surveys of the 10 camps at CAMA. The results of the surveys indicated that these camps were eligible for the Formally Used Defense Sites Program, or FUDS. Under the FUDS program, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers manages the environmental restoration of properties that were utilized by the Department of Defense. At CAMA, the Corps ultimately designated over 2.5 million acres of land for the FUDS program. Because munitions debris may be found on land that was part of CAMA, it is important to be able to recognize and respond appropriately should you encounter any during your visit. While you enjoy the resources of this vast area, be sure to follow the three R's of explosive safety. Recognize. If you come upon anything you suspect could be military munitions, leave it alone. Do not touch, move, or disturb the munitions item. All munitions, whether intact or in fragments, present a potential explosive hazard. If you suspect you have encountered a munitions item, stop. Scan the area for additional munitions, but do not move closer. Most importantly, do not use two-way radios or cell phones within 100 feet of the find unless it is an emergency. Retreat. Immediately and carefully leave the area following the same path on which you entered. If you can, mark the general area, not the munition, in some manner. Report. Immediately notify local law enforcement of what you saw and where you saw it by calling 911. Describe where the munitions item was encountered and provide a general description of its size, shape, color, and markings. For additional information regarding CAMA or to obtain information on military munitions projects, please contact the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, Los Angeles District Public Affairs Office by email or by calling 602-230-6990. Happy trails and be safe.